Hey everyone, welcome to this brand new series that I'm going to start on Court Farms. Now, since I've been playing on this map for the Farman series, I've always thought about doing a Let's Play on the map because I think this map is going to be perfect for building your own farm. So in this series, that's exactly what we're going to aim to do. My idea is I'm going to do contract work, I've got some equipment, I've picked a spot on the map, get some cash, build a farm in this spot. That's my plan, and I think it's going to be really fun, because I don't usually do contract work, so pretty much the start of this is going to just be all contract work. I've made it a little bit difficult. I've, I've got 12,500. I have got a few tractors and a harvester, but I can't really do anything else at the moment but harvesting contracts. So eventually we're going to have to buy the right equipment to do mowing contracts, baling, anything like that, a bit of planting, um, and so on. So I'm really excited for this. This map is perfect for this kind of like play style when you do your own Let's Play. It's not far off now. I know I'll probably get some questions in the, the chat of when it's due. I do know that it's just failed um, literally today that I'm recording this um, just for a small issue. It was something to do with the, the rabbits, but Oxy fixed that straight away and sent it back. So third time's a charm. That's what they say. So I'm expecting this map to drop within a week. This should be out. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm confident about. I'm hopeful as well because, you know, Oxy's worked his socks off. And uh, yeah, I know everyone's going to love it when it's out. So yeah, this map is perfect for this kind of play style. I've picked a spot. I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly just talk you through where I am on the map. You probably know it from watching. If you watch my farm and you'll know pretty much just down there is where the, the uh, bakery is. So just to the right of that farm there. Um, and I've picked this spot. Now, I had to get Oxy's help for this just because I'm, not, I'm, I'm all right in Giants Editor, but I'm not obviously... Uh, and enough to say that I can do everything um, and what I wanted to do which actually turned out to be quite simple in the end but I just had to ask Oxy and he helped me out was I wanted to buy this plot of land here but it wasn't actually a, it's not actually set up within the map that you can do that so this one here I've actually put in as 208 so I did that in GE so we could build a farm here and I've also got 187 so it's an actually it's, it's a really nice plot of land I think it's going to make a perfect farm so if I just jump up so I can show you exactly what I've got. I've got that plot of land there, and that's going to be my farmhouse. Um, I've got my truck just outside there. A few sheds with whatever equipment I've got. We don't own anything else but these two kind of plots of land and that L-shaped, you could say, field there. So that's ours as well. Now, that is technically going to be to build onto. That's just more space to build a farm but I think you know it'll be a brilliant spot to kind of come off the main road we've got an entrance there to a field with a gate which we might combine into the farm and then this is the entrance into our land at the moment so I like it I really do it's right on the main road really nice area obviously a lot of detail at this part that Oxy's put in as well uh, but yeah we can't even mow this grass as well so we could make money from bales but not currently because we haven't got the right equipment uh, but yeah, it's, it, I, I'm honestly, I'm really looking forward to the series. I think it's going to be something, well, it's definitely something different than I've ever done before. I've never done contracting work. I usually start off with a farm. Um, I've done a survival series that I am going to continue on at some point, but I just wanted to do a series on this map because it is absolutely superb. It really is. So let's have a quick look around this. Uh, there's not much to show off. We are going to just crack on and do... You know, a, a contract harvesting one, bit of a montage as always, and, you know, a bit of course play and whatever else out to help out along the way. But this is my truck. I've got an L200. Straightforward enough. That's where I've put the fuel tank. So I've put 1,000 litres of fuel already in. And we've, I'll show you around. So I had to chop a tree down and try to level it off as best I could. It didn't work out perfectly. Um, so this is the trailer. It's a nice big grain trailer that we can adapt to be uh, a salad trailer if we need to. This is the harvester that I've got gone. It's like an old version of the Lexian. So it's 440 Lexian. That's the header for it. I've got a corn header here. You can see that I've made it look like it's not brand new. It's worn. All the the all the damage is at 50%. So, you know, it's definitely going to need uh, looking after soon, which is going to cost us money. Also, the, the fuel on the vehicles I've kind of set to random points. So they're not all just full. Um, got a JCB load all, which is obviously pretty nifty. Again, a few attachments for it. Bucket, pallet fork, and a bale grab. And then in here, 
we've got the Beast of the Machines, which is a medium tractor, but it's a fast track and it's an absolutely beautiful one, I have to say, with a nice UK badge at the front. So that's our main tractor. It's about 260, 260 horsepower. Yeah, and then we've got this 140 horsepower um, Aryan, so the class. Um, so yeah, so we're not talking big, big equipment at the moment. We, we've got like a medium tractor and a small tractor. 260 is not massive, but we've got enough to do bales from, so let's say we do a harvest and we want to create some straw and do some baling from that. We can, we can't, well, we can't do the bales, but we can pick up, we can pick up the bale. We've got a bale trailer as well. So if we do need to haul anything, we can do that and we can pick it up, but we do need to get a baler. We've got about average horsepower requirements at the moment. So we're going to have to pick smaller fields, I'd say, to start off with. But I think maybe the first thing we look at buying, before we even think about expanding out, chopping these trees down, I can go in G and take out them hedges. Uh, before we even think of doing anything like that, we've got to get the right equipment so we can make money from contracts. There is a few set rules. A few set rules that I'm going to start with is I can't lease anything that I'm going to use for contracts. So if it's in the contract menu and you press lease now, we're not going to be able to do that. We can only use our own equipment. But let's say my farm's built and I want to lease something to eventually buy or take out a loan for, I can do that. As long as it's not direct through the, the contract menu, um, that's the only thing I'm, I'm setting up. So I've got course play on, auto drive, precision farming, pretty much all the good stuff, maze plus and everything like that. Um, it's going to be... I've set it to normal normal difficulty. Three days in, obviously, precision farming. Um, and as you can tell, yeah, fuel's like normal. Everything's pretty much just set to normal. And I'm not, obviously, can't buy anything. Um, so, yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent. So, let's crack on. We're going to have to pick a, uh, we're going to have to pick a contract because we've got 12,500. That is not enough. And we need to get cracking on. Um, just trying to think. I mean, the best thing to do is probably look at the map and see what looks like it's ready to harvest and see if we can grab it and if we can't well then we'll just look at uh yeah we'll have to just see what's on offer um interesting to show you as well from the farmland i did set out in my save game uh, which is obviously this is a separate save game just the boundaries of, of some of the stuff that i've set up so that's george's farm you can see that i've marked out keith and kevin uh that's where beanie lives and uh that's a cell basically that was on one of the episodes i basically dropped off some hay bales and uh, I marked on the map exactly where I was going to go. So that's one of the places that we sold the bales. That's another one up there. That's where Tim lives. That's another place I dropped off some of the bales. That's my farm. That's Ross up there. And uh, the vet, or Holly, is just over there. So I, I like marking them out on the map. It just gives me a bit of an understanding of you know where we're at and where we can go to. Uh, but we are currently here this is pretty much our land so it's kind of up there across down and over here so we could draw that out uh, but the problem is it will transfer over just the way auto drive works transfers over um it's not bad um, it's actually course play in fact sorry it's not auto drive it's course play and if you are interested to know how you do that you go into this course play menu here and you say draw custom field and if you wanted to you just right click on the mouse and it will do a boundary save custom field yes if you left click on the name, you can rename it. So whatever you want to do, press enter. And then it's that's it's that simple. Instead, it's, you know, obviously you can use your in-game track to record the, the boundary of the field if you want to do it like that, but you can also just draw it. So it's pretty straightforward. And then to delete it, you just click the, the name again, delete custom field, job done. It's a part of course play. So yeah, check that out. Cause I know I've, I've seen definitely at least one comment of someone saying, how'd you, you know, mark places on the map and it's just through course play. It's just having custom boundaries and custom fields. So anyway, let's stop faffing because that's definitely what we're doing now. Um, and we want to look because we've got some new crops to try out as well. We've got alfalfa, field bean, rye, already got linseed, but I would love to try that out. So there is actually field 56 up by where George is, <laughs> even though no one's living there currently. Um, field 112 would be good. I'd say 56, 112. I mean, a lot of these would be fine. It's just we don't really want to be getting out to this size because I want to finish it in this episode. So if we look at like 98, 71, 112, anything like that. Yeah, we'll have a look. Let's have a look.
so I've got contract settings here because I'm using the mod that's a better contracts mod. So you can see that you can change. I haven't actually changed anything. This is just how it comes. Um, you can, I can take multiple contracts out. Essentially, the estimated total yield you must deliver to complete a harvest. So we get to keep, I imagine, some, which we just take on in some extra cash. Uh, delivery of bailing, contacts, uh, bailing contracts, 90%. Um, I don't really think we need to... What's this? Lazy farming? Lazy farmers. If activated, NPC farmers will often skip work on their fields. So more contracts can be offered. No, we don't want that. Higher difficulty. I mean, that might be something we could look into. If active, all active contracts must be completed by end of the month. At the latest, cancelling a contract will cost a penalty... Borrowing contract equipment is only unlocked after completing some jobs. See, that is right up my street for what I want to do. So let's activate that. So the penalty is 10%. I'll keep it at that. That's not bad. Unlock borrowing equipment. Um, I'm going to say we can unlock it after. Number of successful jobs for an NPC farm before they lend you their equipment. Seven. We'll make it the, the highest because I really don't want to be doing that. Uh, the deadline is... Ooh... I have got three days, so I think we should keep it just at a month. I like it. So we'll save them settings in. So field purchase discount activated. If if active, so what's this one? If active, an NPC farmer will give a discount on farmland purchases. Discount increases with the number of complete jobs for this farmer. Ah, so we could actually purchase fields the more jobs we do. I do like that, but I don't think we're going to go down that path. But that is a really nice option within the contracts, definitely. But this itself, a lot of people will have known this, but this is new to me just because I don't do contracts often. So, well, often, if not never, let's be honest. I don't really tend to do it, so I am, like I said, looking forward to it for that reason. But if we put details on, it is there's a lot to this. Like We know straight away we're not going to be doing bailing. We're not going to be doing cultivating, field, uh, fertilizing. Pretty much all these we can't do. So we've only got now harvesting left. And it tells you really good. It tells you what you're harvesting. So you know, what header type. Luckily, this is all just grain kind of type. You're not going to be using a corn header or anything like that. There is eight that are hidden. Now, I don't know why that is, but I imagine there's a reason for that. Um, but if we can sort by mission type, net profit, or profit per minute, I'm going to go with net profit. I think that's probably best. So this one is field 14. It's a nine-acre field. Just trying to see the estimated time. 40 minutes, not too bad. Must deliver 30, 35,000 litres. I can keep 2,300. And the price is going to be, and the profit for harvest is that, 206 profit per minute. Ah, so that's really good, that is. That's the price I'm going to get for doing the, the, the contract. But what it's taking into account there is if I complete it and I sell the 2,300 on top, at 917, the profit I'll get will be 2,000 on top of it, so my actual income will be 8,285. This is really, really good. So let's have a quick look at field 14, just to see whereabouts that is. Definitely going to be in a harvest state, or uh, ready to harvest. I actually can't see it anywhere. Just Oh, it's there. Let's see, that's a big field. That's probably more than I want to do for a first job. I'll be honest. Definitely. I mean, looking at that there. What that symbol is. The harvest symbol. 56. Same on that one as well. Same on that one. Ah, so it's just to do with contracting, isn't it? Can't do 109. I guess these are the hidden ones. So we can do 112. I think we should do that one. I really do. I think it's going to be a straightforward, simple job to start with. So let's have a look at that one. I forget which one the contract tab is, just because I don't do it often. So we're looking for 112. We'll get 3,000. I mean, it's very small. Let's be honest. That is small, small money. Um, I mean, what we could do, I'm definitely going to take that. So we'll accept that contract. And it's, there we go. We're off. Harvest the wheat in field 112 and take the product to tall tree stores. Happy to do that. But what we could do is double up. So if we're doing 112, maybe... Maybe we could hit up another one. Maybe just up from it, like 143. And maybe even 140 and 137. But that's a lot that is to do in this episode. So let's just try 143 on top of that one as well. 
So that's an extra 2,000, and it is oats. So it's a different type of crop, but that won't matter too much. I mean, it'd probably be better if we picked an oat field. Uh, sorry, a, a wheat field, because then we could take it um, direct, couldn't we? 92 is quite big. 84. So we want to look at 137, 140, and, and 84. Yeah, 137, 140, 84. But that's canola. <laughs> so there isn't a wheat field. 92 is a wheat field, and 56 is a wheat field. You see, I think we just go do George's farm. Yeah, I think we should. Just go do that one as well as 112, because we could probably find a way of cutting across, because I know there is a bit of a track out here. So yeah, we're going to do 56. It makes sense. We're going back to George's farm. Keep him happy. He obviously needs an helping hand. So we'll accept the contract for 56, and we've got two active. So let's get out to the field. Um, I haven't got an auto drive set up for this, but I'm going to do it because I obviously need to get two tractors. Well, technically, we need one tractor, but we also need the harvester out there. So it'd be nice to use a bit of auto drive. I do need to set the uh, amount that I'm going to charge for workers. I'm not going to go full whack, I will be honest. It's just too steep for the amount of money we've got. Probably about 50% of what we'd normally pay, so they're going to be on a reduced rate just because we're not we're not made of money at the moment, are we? And we don't want to struggle. There we go, that's going to be much easier. Right, so we'll let that set up. And then we're going to go and take this first. We'll probably start with George's farm, just because why not? What we'll do on the way is we'll record a bit of an auto drive route, so we've got that all set up. Now, I'll probably have some of it saved already because of the fact that... Oh, there we go. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I've probably got some of it saved already, just because, obviously, I've been doing quite a few routes when it comes to the, the farmhand. Probably going to clip that. Just about made that. Just about. I mean, I haven't got to follow me on because I know it does conflict with some some mods. I know it does definitely conflict with uh, Maze Plus as well, so... Probably should take a better angle with that. It's not the easiest, I will be honest. And if there's traffic, well... Yep, didn't think this through, did I? Come on. Again, this might be a good job for a, a tractor, to be honest. There we go, that's better. Just going to have to clip a little bit. Right, so, let's have a look at here. Auto drive. There is a network, and it has been created automatically, um, which has probably been done as I jumped in. So, let's just... Say, see how, how this is getting on. It's weird how this one's two way, but the other one's one way. We'll definitely figure it out and uh, hopefully make something pretty decent from it. I mean, that's not connected there, so that wouldn't be very good so far. Mm. As long as we can turn. Because the, the thing is, I, it's going to be difficult. I mean, there'll be an auto drive route made. By the auto drive guy on YouTube, he will smash out a pretty decent, you know, if not perfect, auto drive route. So I think I might just wait it out for them. It'd be nice to use Follow Me though, instead of just doing this multiple times. I might have to activate it and just, you know, if there's a few bugs along the way, while we're waiting for a nice auto drive route. Um, yeah, it just saves time, doesn't it? Really, so trying to set one up. Probably should put my beacons on. But no, I mean this is. Small money. I mean, we're going to take in, what, 6,000, something like that, maybe? Well, every little helps. It really does. It's them bailing contracts we need to get on, because they're going to make a lot of money. So, as soon as we can get do that, we should be all right. So, I think the first thing we definitely need to buy is a baler, because we can pick up the bales, we can do all that stuff. We just need a baler. And if we can get a decent one with a wrapper and all that stuff... Jobs are good. 
Tell you what, it's not the easiest place to pull out from. Hopefully, we can improve on that. Right, so off we go up to up to the farm. So I have set up Courseplay, and he's out in the field right now doing the harvesting. Um, I did have to change the setting so we didn't do straw. So we have got a bit of straw, which is not ideal. Um, but there's no point in us doing it if we can't bail it up. So we're just going to go up now, and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing the hauling because obviously we haven't got all drive to take it. So we may as well use Courseplay um, for the harvesting, and then we can just keep taking it to the. Uh, to the store now I don't think we'll actually need to do multiple trips this holds quite a lot it really does I think it's about 29,000 litres it's a big trailer it's a really good investment to start off with because we're not going to need to do as many trips and I think the harvester holds about 8,000 so we'll be doing a lot of carting to and from the harvester probably depends really doesn't it how good the yield is, I guess. We'll wait till he's on the second headland and then yeah, we can track him. Now, I am going to try and find the collectibles along the way to this. If I see him, I'll get him. I won't go actively just looking for him in the episodes. But if we see him, we are going to pick him up because we do need money. Right, so... I think he's about just started his second headland. You can see that did a bit of straw just there. But we're just gonna have to leave that. So we'll wait for him to do the turn and then we'll start unloading. So I think the way I'll do it is I might do a bit of a time lapse on this first field. On the second one, I will do a bit of a montage because I do love a montage, I have to say, especially on a harvest. It does look pretty sweet. So let's uh, try and change this. I know there is a mod that I'll press one button and that'll just happen instantly, so I need to get that mod sorted. Looks like they're doing about seven miles an hour, doesn't it? So we need to probably match that. So they're doing six, which is easily done. Now I have got crop destruction on, but because I'm in a field that's not mine, it's not going to work. So got it on though. So far so good, it's not a massive field, it shouldn't take too long with a six metre header as well, it's a fairly straightforward job. But what I'll do now is I'll stick it on a time lapse, get this field done, get the first one done, I'll do the carting, make sure we uh, complete this first uh, contract.
Right, so that's the first field technically done. A bit of a strange thing happened that I didn't actually predict at all. It's, it's uh, a random one. So because both of these fields are wheat and I'm harvesting the wheat in, you know, both of these fields for to take to the same sell point, what's actually happened, <laughs> funny enough, is... Uh, if I look at my contract, you can see that I've completed the field progress in this one. I went and took all, obviously, the uh, the wheat. And for some reason, it, the delivery progress of this field went up. So now what I need to do is get the <laughs> is get this one done. And all the grain from there, I need to then take to the same south point, And then it should fill up that one. And then hopefully fill up that one. Fingers crossed. And we should get some extra cash. Now, in the time which you probably noticed that I decided to do the uh, harvesting myself I just thought it made sense to save money instead of paying for a worker when really we can just drop into the uh, into the trailer I mean if it was a much bigger job and we needed to do bailing all that stuff we could have just carried it on but yeah it makes sense to do that now now what is the best way to this field it's a bit of a strange path I will be honest but it might be better to go up here than all the way down there. It'd be perfect if we just had a cut off over here, but we haven't. I mean, I took a proper <laughs> detour. I basically drove through this field, up that the boundary of that field with the harvester, through that one, round here, crossed a, a bridge, all the way up 62, back down, through a gate, and then made my way this way to here to do the harvesting and I have set the the work going on course play in field 112 so by the time we actually get there I imagine this field is going to be done what the hell is he doing well, he's not the best turning son yeah so <laughs> we best make a move really uh, not faff about uh, but do you know what I have realised something I think I'm going the wrong way here I am going the wrong way Hmm. Yep. We need to. Uh, to be honest, we could go all the way up and take. Do you know what? We're gonna have to go the long way, aren't we? Let's let's do the long way. It, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm hoping the harvester won't fill up in time. But if it does, well, at least we've taken a nice detour. The good thing about playing uh, this Let's Play series the way I'm planning on doing, which is obviously the contracts and taking to all to the sell points and all that, is I get to see the map. I really get to get take a good look at it because normally when you're playing on a farm you pretty much go to a certain like few places on the map maybe the dealership maybe one or two sell points where the best price is and then the majority of the time you're on your farm in your fields but the good thing about this is we get to see different styles of the fields with all the sell points hopefully we can take to and we get to you know try out a, like a good range of stuff and uh, I think it is a perfect way to show off the map that Oxy's made to be honest it really is and uh, hopefully we can get some bigger equipment as well I mean it's a bit of a mixture there's some big fields but I feel like it does accommodate if you want to do small really small equipment there's a, there's quite a lot of spots for small equipment same for kind of medium large it's it's one of them and if you build your own farm like I'm hopefully planning on doing then yeah you've got a good selection of uh, fields to choose from it really is. I love these roads. These roads that have been placed in, I think they are spot on. They just look perfect. They really do. So, yeah, we are taking a bit of a detour. We really are. We're up by what I call the vets and hollies, and then on the right there is where the, the horses are. So I think we actually need to go left here because we're not going to be able to cut across to the right so we're going to have to go back on ourselves and it's full so the grain cart is going to have to wait for us now hopefully it won't take too much money out of the bank but I'm not going to cancel it because it's my fault I've been faffing about and uh, I wasn't quick enough it is a shame though, that the south point's so far away from these fields I mean even this this is official road on the map but you can see it is a track it's literally just a dirt track I think it's a track that looks like made for walking. So, yeah. But we should be able to now fly all the way down 
to where we need to be. It's a straight path. Right, so we're not too far away now. I think what I'll do is I'll jump in again to the harvester. Um, I might actually keep it as a course play, actually, saying that, just so I can do a bit of a montage, like I said. We are here now. It's uh, on the left in a second. There's two gates next to each other, and they are both big gates, so it makes life easier. Definitely makes life easier when hauling in to do some harvesting. Hey, and look at that. Perfect spot to stop, that is. Perfect. These fields are nice, though. Look at the shape of them. They are a lot different than typical feel but I like them because it like I mentioned in my uh, yeah I mentioned in my um, map tour that it feels like it's made for like Holland like a Holland map or a, the Netherlands because a lot of the field types over there do look just like this we got it synced up now so it shouldn't be too long, really, with this. Yeah, and I'm hoping as well at the end, when we're taking it, we'll sort out both of the contracts, not just yeah that one. It's a bit of a strange thing. I, did, I, I thought I'd done something wrong at first, because I was like, where's, where's why, why is he not say it's been completed? And then I realised that it had filled up the other contract. So, uh, yeah, definitely strange, but at least we know for the future. Right, so I think this is a perfect time to stick in a montage. We'll carry on with the course plate. We'll do the karting. Is two fields all harvested not bad going so let's take a different route back we'll go down to the south of the map and cut across there is a bit of a I don't even know what you call it but it's, it is definitely a shortcut and it's got to be a track and uh, we'll have to come 
all the way back up on herself but on the other side of the map so why not try that route see what's quickest overall but we are hauling quite a lot 23,000 litres and this is only 260 horsepower so we aren't going to be going the quickest but this is where we want to go we want to go across here and you can see from the map it is a bit of a track it's just not what you'd expect it's not a proper road <laughs> but it seems like it's the best way to go should actually bring me out by uh, one of the farms on the map. I've, if you watch my farm on series, you'll know it is the Keith, Keith's farm. So, nice little farm. Definitely good for small equipment. Really good farm. Right, we're close, we're close. Come on, girl. <laughs> Struggling. We're just about to hit 30 miles an hour. That's the first time in a while we've been over 30 miles an hour. I didn't point out as well that both the tractors, the Class and the JCB, have put on front the uh, the front um, loader kind of attachment or setup, you could say. So if we do decide to get a front loader on this, it might be a good idea, especially if we're doing bales in the field and it means we can take less vehicles until we're waiting for an auto-drive route. We'll use Follow Me, though. In the next episode, I'll definitely have that activated because it will help us out. All right, so... I don't know why anyone's coming. Tall tree stores. Here we go. It's going to be the same place as last time. And this should complete it. So we'll have to keep an eye out just to see. We're at 11,300. We've obviously used a bit of cash with uh, course plate. And, I mean, it's one of them. If we use too much, we need to start doing it all ourselves. Especially in the early days. Until we're doing some bailing contracts, we're kind of stuck. We really are, because bailing and yeah, that's, that's where the money is. That really is. Alright, so here we are. Let's see where we end up after this. We're going to obviously make just a bit of cash, up, I'm hoping now, from, from the actual harvest that we've brought in when we go over. So we need to fill up the other one. So that's one contract finished. We do need to claim our money back, but there you go. So we've gone over to 13,000 and we've got 1,800. So that's not bad. That's on top. Now, it did say that we'd probably get a little bit more. I'm sure of it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this one was completed. We delivered 18,000. 3,500, uh, we got profit from harvest. And this was, uh, they were both the same profit per minute. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So let's collect on this one. Collect. And there we go. We're now sitting at 18,000. So we've made a bit of cash. You know, we're getting closer to buying the ultimate goal, which will be a baler. Now, I am probably thinking that square baler might be better. Or even a, a round baler with a wrapper attached to it. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, we need to have a quick look just before I end the episode just to see what price range we're looking at. I mean, we could start off by second-hand market. We've got a Heston Baylor there, but 77000 still pretty dear. It really is, but a Heston Baylor would be nice. I think it'd be perfect on this map as well. Doesn't look like there's any more Baylors in there. So let's have a quick look in here. And we'll sort by price. I've got a good range. I mean, we could technically get a baler already with this class one. Uh, but I'd say we want one that wraps as well. So we don't have to buy a wrapper. So the first one with a wrapper. Where are you? So the first one with a wrapper is the quick bail. <laughs> There's the quick, quick bail. <laughs> or the quick bail. Both of these are made by the brilliant Mark Thor. So big shout out to him. And his uh, mod, I think a lot of people have been raving about this uh, baler. I haven't actually used it yet, I'll be honest, but I have heard good things. So, And if it's made by Mark, it's definitely going to be good. So we could go for a quick baler. I mean, that would make our life easier for 60k. We'd have to do a good contract, a few more to get us to that point. But I, I do think that a baler is the right way to go, definitely. If we look at contracts and take off the harvesting, you can see that baling... I mean, straight away, 14,000. 
I mean, if we put all the contracts in and we sort by price, well, that's a milk. I mean, they're transport ones. So we should probably take the transport out. out. But you can see that the most we're going to get is from bailing. So, you know, we do two bailing contracts. I mean, that's what, 15,000? So, yeah. Big money, really. Big money. But we're doing well. We've done two contracts already. That's not too bad going for the first episode. If we try to do another two in the next and carry on with harvesting, I mean, there is a harvest here for 7,000. It's a big field, but we could just try and tackle one big field. Um, or maybe we can do these two here, so 92 and 95. Let's have a quick look at 92 and 95. So 95 is there. And 92 is there. They're not re do you know what? They are reasonable size fields. They are, but we could do with a baler to make straw. If we if we bought if we bought a baler made straw, we could sell the straw on. Now that would be good. That would be good because that'd be an extra source of income. And then we just need to buy a wrapper to do some silage bales. I mean, a lot of these baling contracts um, are the silage. Take the bales to the biogas plant. So this is hay because you can see that he wants it tedding. Silage bales, we've got hay, silage bales, and hay. So we've got two hay and two silage. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just check quickly 110. Let's have a look at that field. Where are you? I mean, I should just look at orange that it's there. It's a big size field, but 92 is big and 95 is big alone. But I think... Personally, I think we need to do 92 and 95. So we're going to accept these contracts. So for the next episode, we can pretty much carry on from where we left off and get some more uh, harvesting done. I will have to probably go and check the fuel. Like Definitely on this one, I need to put some fuel in the JCB. And if we have a quick look at the harvester, yeah, that probably needs a bit of fuel as well. So we're going to have to take into account fuel because I have got the mod on that increases the price of diesel to uh, closer to the real life so yeah it's it's an expense that we're going to have to tackle definitely definitely so i'll tidy up i'll put everything away in between this episode and the next one but hopefully you like the idea of the series hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please give the video a thumbs up because that does help my channel every time and if you're not subscribed uh please do hit the subscribe button because um, a lot of people that are watching my content aren't subscribed and that would really help me out if you could just take the time to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.